Hi and welcome to my art studio. I'm Rose Wildsmith, mixed media process artist, and I love using my art to tap into my subconscious and my intuition. Today I've got a really fun technique to share with you. If you like making intuitive art, you're going to love this technique. I'm going to show you how to make serendipitous poems from fragments of text. Perfect for adding text to your art journal pages or if you have writer's block, it will help you get free from writer's block. I love collaging images that I find in books and magazines into uh, my art, mixed media art, um, into my sketchbooks and into my art pieces for unexpected results. When you use them intuitively in things like vision boards, it can be a great way to tap into, into your subconscious. I decided to try doing the same thing with text and here are some of the results. What do I want? An open road, straight from the heart like a window opening. The freedom to let my days take shape, exploring art, parrots and other wild creatures. A love capable of inspiring undreamed of splendour after decades of darkness. Much has changed looking for myself after a day in the mud pits. Sometimes bloody, but rarely fatal. The age of comets fends off the dawn chill like old pieces of plastic ripe for harvest. Glare from the rising sun remotely threads a rope into the shade to rest, to dream, a world little altered. The rite of spring, a kind of whirring like giant bird wings where the wild things put on a dancing display. The air in the trees saw a vision, whispered that it was time. A little puff and snort spills into this resplendent beauty. Deep in the woods, a patchwork quilt of colour swirls on the ground. First of all, you're going to need a pile of magazines or books that you don't mind cutting up for this. I found that the National Geographic magazines have some really interesting words in them. I also used this old children's book, which had some quite interesting little phrases in it. And also this um, book about Matisse, um, which had some art specific phrases, which were really relevant to me. So take some scissors and you want to stay in an intuitive space. So choose a time when you're not hurried and you can be relaxed and uh, take your time to get into the zone. So maybe take some deep breaths. It really helps to be relaxed when you're doing this. And um, yeah, so flick through fairly quickly so you stay with your intuitive self and you don't get too drawn into the actual words of what you're reading. And what you want to do is notice what interesting little phrases and snippets of text speak to you. The more personal you can make it, the better. When you spot something, just cut it out and start a collection of little text snippets. I think I've already exhausted this one, so I'm going to get a fresh one. says putting pen to paper. take the whole phrase you can just take part of it that speaks to you
they can be quite small and fiddly so I keep mine in a bag just to keep them all safe and uh, keep going until you've got uh, enough to make a selection from. Um, exactly how many is up to you but I'd say a minimum of about 20 pieces. Lay them out in front of you on a smooth surface so you can easily slide them around. Obviously ideally not where there's too much wind because they're so small they'll just fly away. So now the fun part begins. Once you've got all of your snippets laid out in front of you and you can easily slide them around, um, slide and see what interesting combinations you can make. And this is really important here to really listen to your intuition, listen to your gut feeling, and wait until you have a combination that really makes you say yes. And when you do, you can set it aside and then start building up little um, lines of your poems. Okay, so I'm quite happy with my poem now, so I'm going to move the rest of the pieces to one side. Don't worry if you haven't used all of your pieces, you can save them for next time. This is my finished poem. It's a little bit dark actually, which means tells me that I've been thinking a lot about, you know, things that are happening in the world things like climate change and the war and and how we need to hang on for brighter days and we need great love. So I'm going to just quickly read you my poem. The End. Noteworthy events upset the balance of nature, billowing clouds of smoke bounded forward, haunting legacies of loss. Then the rains came no more. Peace of mind tumbled into a gritty grave. Great love is needed as never before, hanging on for brighter days when spring came again. Tale of ruin and revival. Okay, so I found this page in my sketchbook, which feels right to me because of the nature of the poem that I made. Um, there, I actually have already stuck in a piece of text, which says a trail of destruction, which kind of fits with the theme of my poem. And I like the background, it feels really kind of fiery and destruction-y and just feels like it fits with the mood of my poem. So I'm going to stick my poem on this side and I'm just going to use a glue stick to do that. So I hope you enjoyed this video about intuitive word snippet collage poetry and I hope you get the chance to try it in your sketchbook or in your art journal soon. I'd love to hear how you get on so please leave me a comment down below and uh, let me know how you get on and if you like this video and you found it helpful please don't forget to give it a like and um, if you subscribe to the channel I've got lots more content coming up soon so don't miss out and subscribe and I look forward to seeing you on the next video. Bye!